Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn Espinoza. If you didn't know, and if you did, welcome back. I believe this is Vlogmas Day 9. Yes. So, today I want to do like a little sit down video. I basically did my makeup. It was like supposed to be lights. I tried. The lips are in the glitter. It kind of came off already because I was taking videos and stuff. But yeah, guys, today I want to talk about how I've been feeling lately. Um, I want to do a sit down video about me talking about how I've been feeling living here in Mexico. I know I've been doing very good with the speaking Spanish, but today I want to speak English. That's just the vibes. <laughs> so, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm just going to ramble with y'all. This is like a sit down video. I did my makeup just to make it like Christmas vlogmas vibe, but... To be honest, today I'm just going to be talking about how I feel. I think I'm about to be here. I think it's about to be three months that I live in Mexico now. Like barely about to turn three months. But I feel... Like, it's fun and everything, but I miss my family. I miss my friends. I miss my people, my, you know, my home, my brothers. It's hard, y'all. It's, <clears throat> it's hard being somewhere else where it's not your home. Um, and I feel like not everyone is your family, if y'all know what I mean, if y'all can catch on, um, it's like, you think you come here and your family's gonna be family, like, the definition of family to me is like, Oh, you don't know where to go? Oh, I got you. Like, I'm gonna take you so you can learn. Stuff like that, you know? Like, you need a shoulder to cry on. I'm here, you know, type shit. But, I mean, I've always known that living here, I mean, what? I've always known that there's no friends and there's no family except your mom, your dad, and your brothers. Sometimes that's not the case for everybody, but, you know, it's different for everybody. But yeah, guys, it's just been tough living out here. I'm starting to get homesick. Um, I feel lonely. Like, I miss the people that love me and that, you know, always showed me support and stuff. And I feel like also me being here in Mexico is like a lesson. Like, I feel like God is trying to give me, trying to like, how do I say it? God is like giving me something that he knows I can handle, you know? So, like, that's what honestly keeps me strong because it's, like, God wouldn't give me something that I can't handle. You know what I mean? And I feel like, like, I'm strong, but I don't know. Like, it's not like I can grab a fucking car and go wherever the fuck I want. Like, no. It's not like how I... I would live over there. I would be like, 
hey, amor, like, you know, my best friend, can you come pick me up? Or like, hey, can you come over? Or like, I'll be like, let me fucking Uber somewhere and I'll fucking leave my house or something. Here, it's like, oh, everyone's going out, you know? And it's like I'm stuck home. Or if I go out, it's like stuff that I don't want to do, you know? Because over here, the life is different, y'all. Like, different, different. Like, I didn't think I was, I don't think I understood, like, the difference that I was going to be living. Sorry, guys. I'm going to change the angle because I feel like... because y'all look a little well not y'all but <laughs> what I mean I look a little like I got ain't I need a good angle girl and I bought a fucking tripod and where the fuck is it it's in the other <sighs> that's another topic I'm gonna talk about hold on <laughs> okay whatever you're just gonna just stay down here Another thing, it's like I'm used to being in my house, you know, even though for the ones I know, I would be sleeping on the couch because my situation at home was different. It's a little complicated right now, but I don't give a fuck. My couch is comfy. <laughs> and so right now I have to get used to being in one place and another and another like and I just want to go home y'all I just want to go home but I can't go home I can't give up you know I can't give up because I'm not a quitter and I know that that at the end of the day, this is something that I have to go through. And that one day I'm going to be laughing my ass out, off about the situation. Right now it may be tough for me and everything, but I know one day I'm going to be laughing the fuck out of the situation. And I'm going to be like, you know what? Fuck everybody. I'm going to go back home and I'm the people that love me, you know? But it's hard, y'all. I can't give that many details because, for one, I don't even feel like it. It's just so much. It's just so draining, like mentally draining, y'all. But I'm happy, you know? Like, I can't be complaining because, yeah, I'm struggling, but I'm not struggling that much. There's people out there that are having it harder than I am, and I need to be grateful that even though family's not family, I'm still keeping my head up and, you know, still being strong. But yeah, guys, I don't know. I feel like this is just like a rambling sesh. Sesh, rambling combo with y'all, late night rambling, you know, it's literally 5 a.m. <laughs> I'm tired, I haven't ate all day, all I ate today was um, a little cake, like a little cake my cousin and her boyfriend baked, and chocolate milk, and that's all I ate today because... I don't know. I just don't feel like it. I want to say it's um, all the kids that are Mexican Americans and have parents that are illegal. To be grateful for the parents y'all have. 
we have because I have them too. Because it's not easy. It's not easy going to another country and learning a new language. Um, getting there with like no little money. Not knowing how to even ask for food. Like I feel like I'm living the situation that my parents lived. Just that the difference is that I know Spanish a little bit. I mean, I feel like I know it a lot, but apparently here I, I'm not the best. But I feel like I'm in the same position. Like, I'm alone here. I'm alone in Mexico. I really don't have nobody. If you have your parents with you right now, Just hug them. Just hug them because they've been through a lot. There's no more. Because, bitch, the fuck am I doing crying on YouTube? The fuck? Who am I trying to be? Like those YouTubers that get canceled and they cry and they're like, oh, I've been going through it. <laughs> that looks stupid. I hope y'all don't not enjoy this video, but I hope y'all understand where I'm coming from. I hope some people understand me, you know. And if you're going through the same thing or understand what I'm going through, even though I'm not explaining it correctly. I'm just talking to talk. And if you understand what I'm going through, just know you're not alone. I don't ever want anyone to feel the way that I feel right now. I don't even wish it to the worst, per like the person that hurt me the most. I don't even wish it to the person that hates me the most. All I gotta say is be careful with people that you think love you and they end up showing you your true colors, if that makes sense. And I'm not talking about nothing or anyone I'm talking to or my past relationship or nothing. No, I'm talking about family. I'm talking to people about people that you thought was your family. Cause then you fucking realize that like that one TikTok it was all an illusion you know if you understand what I'm saying experience, like what have y'all gone through that y'all realize that y'all know that there's no family there's no I'm not gonna say there's no friendships because There is friendships, but my friendships, I don't consider them friendships. I consider them family. And y'all know who y'all bitches are. Y'all know who y'all two bitches are, so y'all know. I'm living a fucking dream because I can't even... I can comprehend it, but I can't get it in my head that this is real. You know that this is happening to me, like, it's not, it's like I don't want to believe it, but it's for real, like, I'm living it right now, you know? But yeah, guys, I'm sorry if this was a sad video, or uncomfortable, boring, or like, what the fuck is she saying? She's not explaining herself. The ones that get me, get me. The ones that don't, I'm sorry. But, yeah, guys, I just wanted to talk. At least I did my makeup. <laughs> At least I did my makeup all oh, Christmas vibes. I'm just not feeling good. I'm feeling down. I'm feeling sick. Like, 
what I mean by sick is homesick. Like, I miss my home. I miss my baby. My nena, my cat. <laughs> I'm not a mom, y'all. I mean my baby, my cat. I miss my parents. I miss my brothers, bro. And one of the most important people I miss is my ex -Sagra. She might not watch this, but but yeah, guys. Um, I'm just gonna go. Cause I don't want to be those girls that cry on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, I just wanted to talk about how I feel that I'm Mex I'm in Mexico. But don't get me wrong, y'all. It's beautiful living here. It's a new experience. Um, maybe right now I'm having a hard time because. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to just leave it all to God. I'm going to leave it to God. And I know that he's with me. All I have to do is pray. I got to pray. I got to pray. I got to be. I be consistent with God too. I need to read the Bible. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna fucking go because my storage is full. I haven't been able to delete shit. So yeah, I'm gonna let y'all go. But yeah, guys, y'all be ready for Vlogmas Day 9 or 10. Um, I love y'all. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications to get notified every time I post a new video. And again, I'm sorry for this video. It's kind of lame, but... um. Uh,